it's Whimsy and we're back today with a new episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I, as always, am super excited to play. I haven't played in a couple of days, so I was really looking forward to it. Today, I think we're going to go to a new planet. We have two choices. We have Pharos and Noveria. I think that we can go. We rescued Liara uh, last episode. It was quite difficult. I died a lot, <laughs> but it was super fun and I'm really excited to see what's coming next. So yeah, let's jump into it. Let's go. So last episode we finished off, if I remember correctly, by um, upgrading everything, basically upgrading all the equipment and using all our stat points as well, I think. So we're pretty much good to go. Um, we made a lot of money uh, while we rescued Liara. <laughs> it was crazy. So there's that, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, okay, so... We are... Yeah. Okay, we have Noveria here. Oh, we have Pharos. Um... Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's see Noveria. It's, this is the one... With all the snow, right? I think. I hope I can take Liara with me. I, I want to see if um, Noveria. Let's see. Small frozen terrestrial world. Oh, I kind of want to see that. Barely habitable by conventional definitions. It is privately chartered by the Noveria Development Corporation, who lease out labs to perform research to dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere. Yes, I remember that. Sure, let's land. Let's let's see. I need to check my journal again. Approach control, this is the SSV. Oh, we have a, uh, a vector a in the birth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. Look at We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted. Normandy. It's that easy when you're a specter? Holy shit. Advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. <laughs> I love Shepard's expression. That was perfect. That was so good. <laughs> Can I talk to, to Joker? I like talking to him. He's funny. Yep, we can talk to him. Commander, something you need? Okay, we already we already did all that. Ah, damn. I thought there, there would be something new, but no. It's fine. Okay, so now. Yes, Commander. I think I said Carry on, Presley. <laughs> I yes, said everything as well for mm. him. So, do I get down to where my peeps are? Let me just check my journal first. Get interest and get attack. Okay. Council needs to know why. I guess I guess I'm going down here and then we can use the um Mako. Oh yeah this one. No? <laughs> Wait, where should I go? Huh. I'm oh Good lord! I had not seen this, I think. Oh, hi, Tally! Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting I to like understand Tally. why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. 
cutting edge technology. Ooh. A month ago, I, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again baby. for bringing me along. Traveling on the vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. I see. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. I am. They're constantly being repaired, yeah. modified, and That's what I was about to say. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Mm. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, oh. it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters hmm. that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. Oh. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. That's so interesting. I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. How come the Council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. 
So the Geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in a group, the smarter they are. Like a hive mind, yeah. So there's some sort of group consciousness. No, nothing like that. No? They cannot share sensory data or information. Mm. Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. Each but they're stronger together. Individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. That doesn't make any sense. I'm probably oversimplifying. The Geth are incredibly advanced and complex creations. All you need to know is that they get smarter when they gather in large numbers. As we built more and more Geth, That's so interesting. their active intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Oh, Lord. Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, <laughs> this caused a near panic among my people. For sure. I don't see what's so bad about this question. No, I see. The Geth were created to engage <clears throat> They were not supposed to think like that, yeah. Manual labor. That's fine for machines. Can you imagine if your own computer starts asking you these questions? Long. Your own PC? The Geth <laughs> were showing signs of rudimentary self <laughs> Be panicking as well. Thought. If the Geth I know it's not exactly the same, but still. we were essentially using them as slaves. It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. Hey, you can't blame them for fighting for their survival. Yeah. We had no other choice. Yeah. The Geth were already <coughs> on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. They thought wrong. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. Of course. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Now, we drift through space, exile, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. I think I asked her when about that before. Reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. So will she become we part of our crew then? Leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. <gasps> is she gonna give me a gift to later? Gift? That doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Mm. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla, and given gifts to help us on our journey. We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment. Yeah, that's why she's wearing a helmet and everything. Most. I think By that's what she said to the fleet, we are well Garrus. For the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all Quarians. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. Mm. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. I want to 
to talk about something else. Like what? That's it. I should go. <laughs> See you later. Oh, that was so interesting. Hey, Commander. You know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. Oh. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Okay. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Fill me in on the IES stealth system. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too mm -hmm. much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Mm. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Oh. Eventually the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. Interesting. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up to FTL blue shifts our emissions. Pushes I don't know what FTL was, so thank you. Thank you, as Commander. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. I want to know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on, probably the fastest vessel ever designed. She's the only one using the new Tantalus drive core. What's so special about the Tantalus drive core? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Where else have you served, Adams? If you name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Nice. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay. That was cool. I'm um, unsure what to do now, though. Like, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> where is the outdoor? What if I go... Oh, I've been here. Oh, here, can I talk to Liara again, maybe? The way she turns her head. <laughs> like she's scared or something. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? Shit, okay. I should go. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't have anything to say. You're just pretty. <laughs> I I think I like Tally more, though. I don't know. There's something about her. And her outfit is so cool. But I like mm -hmm. Liara as well. Okay, so maybe I should go here? No? Like, we've landed, right? Should I open again the galaxy map? Should I go here? Oh yeah! Okay. Oh! Okay! Alright. Um, I want Liara. I would like to have Liara, Liara on the team. I really like Rex. He is pretty good in combat. Garrus. Sally. We're going. Oh, we have no combat strength if we do that though. 
We're going with... Uh, there's like Geth, I think. So could be good to bring Tally if she's... Um, she knows about the, the Geth. Or maybe Rex. <laughs> Ashley. I'm not sure, guys. I feel like if I bring Tally, then we have no combat strength. Garrus is pretty cool. We would have a lot of biotic strength with Rex and Liara, so there's that. And also some combat, you know. But maybe text train would be better. Let's go in an all uh, female squad. Let's try. I know we don't have combat, but let's. Equalizing interior pressure. Let's with go with an all female squad. Atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Oh yeah, it does. The sooner we are off this frozen world. Okay. Oh hello. Alright, let's go this way, I guess. I have my new armor on, look at that. I look pretty cool. Hi. That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Ilanis Risk Control Japanese. Services. I outrank you! I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Are you kidding? Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Oh, Lord. It would not be wise to search for the Geth unarmed. Nobody takes my weapon. <laughs> Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. Um. One. Two. Captain Matsuo, stand down. <laughs> I didn't mean to cause, cause such trouble. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. That's what I thought. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Paragon Renegade. <laughs> Not right. Parasini san. They're all Japanese. Paras para Parasini is not a Japanese name, but Parashimi? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but not Parasini. C is not a thing in Japanese. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to administrator Elias. <laughs> we apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. Yeah, my voice is you so loud. Our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation. They of were rude, though. Do you well, the questions? one on the right. Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an sorry lawyer to see the case through. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. 
Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Pretty heavy security for The Executive Board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I'm not here to dig out any corporate secrets. That's gratifying to hear. Understood. Can we go in now? All right. Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. They must not like have a She's specter here. in here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. Don't worry, can I trust you? Yeah? No, we don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're a part of my crew. Maybe I'm a little bit Thank too trusting. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Hmm. <laughs> I do not like this place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's cute. Welcome to Port Hanjan, She's here. The galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research Now I have her daughter with me. Maybe that's not the best idea. And to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you. And enjoy your stay. Hmm. The managers warned us about you. No, oh, they did. Hey! Hi! A merchant! This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Hmm. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the company's. Yeah, here. that's what I was saying. For this sure. one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a, a customer. Side quest? The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. Uh, okay, but what about outside? I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. Your customer would prefer to have his package. Tell me who it's for or I walk. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. I'm not sure about this. I'll do it. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. Maybe. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? I'm not sure about all this. Like a Krogan now? wants... Mm. Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? Upgrades. Fusion Explosive 5. Contain a small amount of radioactive polonium that is dispersed on detonation. Targets caught in the blast experience varying degrees of radiation poisoning. Plus 40% toxic? That's interesting. Okay. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? I'm here to shop. We can discuss this later. Of course. This one apologizes for inconvenience. Let me see. We have an edge five. Well, that would be good. Um. Oh! 
Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. I'm sorry, I... Like, that That, that was um, more important. <clears throat> more grenades. I think I can... Do that already. No? Okay, it's just right off the bat. I have, like, more grenades than I used to, I guess. Let me see my armor again. sure I'm not sure cuz okay let me see okay they don't have anything oh that's better though for you It is indeed. Let me see for them. I think... Yeah, that's pretty good. Avenger... Yeah, that's good. Can we upgrade that? No. Uh, okay, that's pretty good, yeah. She has toxic damage. Okay, um, I think I think we're good. Oh yeah, she has a lot of points. I did not think of that. We'll put it like this. <laughs> it takes six damage to a target every second. Lowers the target. Okay. Interesting. What is throw? Away from the caster. Oh. Alright. This unlock electronics. Okay. What is this? Unlock stasis. This advanced warp. Lift. There we go. A vortex. What the heck? Okay. Makes the target unable to move or attack. Also immune to damage. Squad members will not use stasis unless it is selected from the power wheel. I mean, sure, let's have it. I don't know if we're gonna use it much. Electronics. Can use electronic skill on easy objects. Average. Hard. Okay, I think we should have that, yeah. That's pretty good, no? Okay, tally, we still have stuff as well. Advanced. Decryption. Advanced sabotage. Advanced damping. There we go. Try something like this. I know I could have had the shotgun, but... I think we're pretty good like this. Okay. I don't know if that was a good idea to take this... Um, 
this side quest it sounds really shady to be honest but at the same time i don't want to refuse just because it sounds shady i don't want to miss something i'm on duty specter i shouldn't be talking to you Ooh, okay a lot of Torians around here what's here Oh, it's her. Oh, oh my god. How can I help you? How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Ilanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Okay. That's where I was supposed to go. Wait, 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 wait! Oh my god, okay. <clears throat> Salarian. That's why he's speaking fast. You'll excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. <laughs> I see you looked up my service record. <laughs> Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. <laughs> Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? Odd that you shouldn't mind their presence. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Let him be stubborn, Shepard. I'm sure someone else here is willing to help us. <laughs> what brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. Excuse me, his what? Executor. Mm -hmm. Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady <laughs> Benezia has I don't authorized like him. to act in his name. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Hapol asked me to smuggle. I don't think I should tell on that. Especially not to him. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Dude. I am in the middle of nine things, all of them annoying. What do you want now? Do you do business with Saren? 
I believe I explained this already, did I not? He's so annoying, I want to punch him in the face. He's a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages. Oh my, can I punch him in his little fucking small teeth Mr. and Mr. scatter Mr. them Mr. around? You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. I can bludgeon pretty hard. <laughs> Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. Why, thank you for helping. At the hotel since his office was closed. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. Okay. <laughs> I can bludgeon pretty hard. That was so good. All right. Can I? I'm so sorry. There's a lot of things to see, though. Holy shit. Okay, let's go around. I mean, not that, that much to see, I guess. I was just surprised by the size of the map. For a second there. Lots of humans, Turians, and one Celerian, which is strange, in my opinion. And he's an asshole. Spectre, right? Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. No Synthetics shit. Synthetics Insights were shut down by Analeas. And the matriarch came through. Do you know where that matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. Oh, really? You lost contact with Peak 15? What sort 15? of problems are there at Peak 15? Right. Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. Fifteen's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. What was that about synthetic insights? Scuttlebutt says Lord Keen was on the take. Scuttlebutt! Zainalea shut down SI's offices. Quiet-like. So no off-world lawyers come in on it. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshan. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. Nice. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas for the managers, if you can polish enough gizzard. Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, Security tracks card use. Damn, but I have to go. it's okay. We we know. You need anything? I'll be here. So I'm guessing the garage is through here. Okay, so I just need to. Oops, to find uh. Kiri Kiri <laughs> that dude <laughs> that has a pass for me. <laughs> Oh, there's another Salarian here. Haha! -ha. Do not be fooled by these civilized surroundings. This is a place of secrets and lies. Mm -hmm. I can feel it. I know. Believe me. Why is there like. Is that a bar? Or Oh, that's that's uh, key, key, key. Sure. The male human at the hotel bar. 
He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. But did you just call me? You will me? assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amprafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. I see. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. I Your see. real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. Okay, that, that it will I, I want to do that. a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. But also... 500 credits. But also... Um, good for us against... Uh, Benezia. Interesting plan. I'm in. I think. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. Because she is with Asari Commandos. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Sure. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. Wait, it I want to do that. That's a fun quest. Talking. Sure. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Wait for me, please. Let's do it. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas sales. Were you interested in our services? And the sorry asked me to spy. I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. You can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Shit, I don't have high enough. Are you sure that's the best price you can offer? Absolutely, that's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you're here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. Ah, it's terrible that I... 
Dude. Does Binary Helix have any less than above board projects? I'll keep my source confidential. Certainly not. Our corporate reputation is sterling. I can assure you all of Binary Helix's operations on Navaria are strictly on the level. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. I'm sad that I didn't have all the choices, dude. Any results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. That's all? Only 500. All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more since you couldn't do it yourself, I mean. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. Nice doing business with ya. Oh, Renegade, okay. Sorry about that. Oh, I can talk to this person. Good. You're the specter, right? Okay. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Laura Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the specter that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? The specter? Me? Huh? I need to get to trying change. to find a way 15. into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Mm. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage okay. pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? <laughs> Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. Nah, I'm fine with that. He has members of Hanshan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Right. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD the contains music. an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, so and we... do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? So we can do, um... Healthy. Wait. I'm sorry. Wait, so... I Is it back down? Or... His office? Where is his office? That's the thing, I don't know. Maybe I should check around. I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a corporate Okay. That's the hotel. So I'm guessing I have to go back, but Oh. What do you want? I've heard Opal has something for you. Like I care that you know? You was courier or something? Yes, but I haven't picked up his cargo yet. <sighs> Sit down a minute. I have a business proposal. I'm paying the Hanar more than I want. I'll bet he's paying you less than you want. Sell it to me directly. 
I'll consider your offer. Make the right decision. I'm not sure about all this, guys. Not sure if you will receive this doctor, but it is imperative you make your way to a safe location. You used to be with our organization has been leaked. Your base in the Newton system is no longer secure. You make your way to the safe location immediately. Synthetic insights disabled? Really? Like, oh. Well, all right. Easy. Don't hang up. Elder brother, it's me. I'm on the very Easy does it. Okay, I'm. I'm. <laughs> all right. Let's go back down. I can go grab the. What is the cargo though? That's the thing. I don't know what I'm transporting. I don't like that. It's for for a Krogan. Also, I don't want to bypass a pulled. Like that's not in my plans. I'm not a huge dick, you know. I'm just a bit of a dick, sometimes. <laughs> just sometimes. <laughs> now I deactivated... ...here, right? So now I can go. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh! Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. Lorik Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. I am good with that. Whoa, 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 why? You said... You said we'll pretend we didn't see you. What do you mean? Dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought it was an enemy for a second. Well, I guess I'm killing everybody. That's so sad. I I thought I thought we were good. What happened? <laughs> what the fuck happened? Take all. Evidence. All right. Oh, Lord. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Nope. <laughs> you're at a disadvantage, Miss. Oh, now you're gonna show some respect. I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling. Oh, can I kill her? Lannis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off-world for what you did here. I won't. 
you know what we did to cop killers on my world? You're here off-duty breaking the law for bribe money. You expect us to feel bad for stopping you? I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. It's true. Like, literally... See what the fuck? Oh, yes. Let's take this. I I'm pretty sure we could have done this like without any casualties, but I'm I don't know how. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know. I... okay. Alright. Nice. Okay. I think we can leave now. Dude. Like, I didn't mean to... They didn't leave me a choice, really. Anyways, I'm a Spectre, so get the fuck out of my way. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? It's probably Analeas's thugs ripping the place apart. Smartass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Smartass. Meet me for a drink. All right. Before I talk to Quinn. I just want to pass, y'all. I just want to pass and then leave for peak 15. Like, is that so hard to understand? Why, why are we... Dude. Yes, girl. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. <sighs> Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. Nice. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. Oh, okay. As evidence, this planet can run profitably again. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? <coughs> I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. 
The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. In the long run, it is better to remove the source of the problem. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. Keen is offering to pay me. Can you? I can produce a copy of Analeas's pass for you. I can't move large sums of money without someone noticing. Sure. All right. I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Lord. The drama. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. Mm -hmm. An Asari in a pinstripe suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. I'm guessing. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species. That's pretty sad, actually. Armed commandos were allowed on Novaria? I don't know if they were disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. Mm. Saren, and by extension, Benezia, is an important person. By that, I mean an investor who might sell stock, if denied. Do you know why Benezia's here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Enelaus. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board was already investigating Analeas. They're concerned about the worm and their own fruit. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Easy. Very well. I will testify. Plus 24. Make you need with your contact. Paragon. Plus 24. Good lord. My people have dealt with the corporations on Novaria in the past. They pay well and they don't ask any questions. Let me, uh... Good lord, look at my paragon! Holy! Okay. <laughs> we are doing good deeds. Alright, let me see. That's the thing that stresses me with this game is that I don't know, I still don't know how much my choices really have an impact or not so when i do like a little bit like darker side quest like the the cargo thing i'm like is this going to have an impact later where like someone will die because of that or like you know what i mean i'm kind of i don't know it's scary i don't know specter have you given any more consideration did to i my say that i didn't know i don't know <laughs> What's happening up on Peak 15? Before the weather closed in, Hanshan received a Code Omega signal from him. Code Omega means a terminal breach of safety protocols. No one goes up until the crew sends an all She clear. doesn't speak the same way as before, right? Now that... That doesn't now tell that me much. she's not on the cover That's with us anymore. That's all I've got. No one knows what's going on up there. And if before the crew she never was, sends I an all clear? Like this. The executive board votes whether or not to destroy the facility. No, One like antimatter bitch. warhead from the battle stations vaporizes all contaminants. 
Huh. How can I get to Peak 15? The shuttles are down, so you'd have to drive up. If you get keen to testify, I'll get into the garage. Do you know why the Matriarch is here? Something to do with Peak 15. She arrived after we received their Code Omega, automated warning of a containment breach. She came with an escort of Asari commandos. They took the last shuttle up to Peak 15 with a load of crates. Do you know what she had in the crates? No idea. The commandos wouldn't let anyone near them. They seemed heavy, though. What the fuck are you doing? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. So, how about getting me into the garage? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. <laughs> this is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, ah! Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. <sighs> see you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. Nice. He was a bitch anyway. I'm so glad. Can we go into his uh, his office now? Oh, we can. Oh. Weapon upgrade? For real? Nice. Let me see. Okay, so... Everything has a... Uh, armor piercing rounds... Uh-huh. Heat sink. Okay, this one I think I could switch. Yeah. That's better. And then for you as well, we could put this for the pistol. Oh shit, wait, that's new. A Raiku? Stiletto? What the hell? <laughs> I'm uh, shocked. That's so much better. Okay. Wait, do, do I have other... Well, that's so good. A tsunami. It's all, it's all the... Uh, Japanese, it feels like. Okay. I think we're gonna... yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs> Wait, I could actually... Um, I could actually switch their stuff as well. Well, that's pretty good. But like, you want a stiletto or something? Like, you want... 
Want something better, maybe? You know? Not just an edge? Yeah. Shield bypass. There we go. And then what? Like, uh, maybe not combat sensor. I don't know. Sniper rifle. She has her assault as well. Okay, she has everything here. But that's better. Avenger 3? Instead of Lancer. Avenger 2? Sure thing. Let's upgrade everybody. <laughs> Hello. And then for you, I think you could have a striker four. And then you can have this. And then maybe... I don't know. I'm just putting everything I can <laughs> right now. <laughs> sure. All right. All right. Okay. Um... Uh-huh. That's um that's pretty good for me. I I can't believe I want to go take the no cargo maybe. <sighs> should I do that now or should I wait? I should wait maybe. I thought maybe I could take the cargo now but mm, might not be a a good idea to backtrack now. Maybe we can backtrack later. Let's go to the garage. Oh, I think we made a lot of money too. I'm not sure where I can... Is it in squad? No. I don't know where you see that, but... um, Pretty sure we made a, a lot of money with all this. We got 750 credits from one mission. And then we killed a bunch of people, so... There's that. I heard the administrator's been arrested. Any chance you had something to do with that? Yes. He was corrupt. <laughs> Most people here are. I wish you could take them all down. So what can I do for you today? No, oh, that's it. I have to go. <laughs> I'm you sorry. Anything? No, I have I have my pass, thank you. Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's exciting! What is that? Oh, no. Of course. He's gonna tell everybody. That's like a spy. Shit. They're gonna know. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Fuck. Okay. Where are these things? Fan out and secure the area. No one gets in or out. Uh, 
Hello? <laughs> Alright, okay. I guess we're taking this one. The Mako. Oh yeah, baby, I need to remember how to... Yes. Okay, I'm good. Open up, baby. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Now they, they know we're coming. It's a problem. Blizzard it is. the right way or oh what happened oh what are those I'm literally... Is that supposed to happen? Like... Okay. I don't think it was supposed to happen. I think that was a glitch. I do think that was a glitch. <laughs> That glitch though. Holy mother. There's a crate? Yes, please. Sure thing. Yeah, take all. Oh, this one too? can go against me I'm becoming the villain no it's for the, the good of humanity okay not just humanity the good of the universe I am not a racist Oh, 
awesome. Okay. I feel like we're going in circles. I'm so lost. Oh, there we go. Is that page 15? Easy. Easy does it. another one I can see on the scan the scanner I mean it's a beautiful day we're looking for something dumb to do hey baby I think I want to kill you <laughs> I'm sorry I can see inside uh, there's a lot of people. Oh lord. Oh lord. my gang Why is my gang not coming? I I would like to know. Gang? Okay, they're stuck on the other side. What the hell? Why is it so glitchy today? did not work. I don't think I can reach. That's a Krogan. The fuck? Um... Krogans are a User hard to alert. kill. All Peak 15 facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Virtual intelligence user interface online. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. How do I... Okay. I don't have my team with me. Like, how... Oh, good lord. How do I get them with me? Huh? Oh, hi. Hi, 
Hi, Daddy. We're in the middle of a. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Oh, what the fuck is going on? I am so lost. Like, I don't... I... What? Where? At least... At least they're here with me now. What the hell? <laughs> was that a glitch or was it supposed to be like that? Like, I, I'm not sure. Oh my god. Well, at least they're with me now. So there's that. I was trying to call them when I... When I... When I threw a grenade, I was trying to call them, <laughs> but I don't remember how to do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! stuck okay I'm stressed of like the game crashing or something oh those are um oh what are the names wait 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 those are um Wait, I saw that. I don't remember the name. Fifty. Rachni. The Rachni once Rachni. I'm so I'm so sorry. In Citadel space, over two thousand years ago, explorers foolishly they opened are not a mass extinct, relay to a previously a unknown fact. system, and encountered something never seen before or since: a species of spacefaring insects guided by a hive mind intelligence. Unfortunately, the Rachni were not peaceful, and the galaxy was plunged into a series of conflicts known as the Rachni Wars. Attempts to negotiate were futile, as it was impossible to make contact with the Hive Queens that guided the race from beneath the surface of their toxic home world. I should have the brought Rex. Of the Krogan <laughs> ended the Rachni Wars, bred to survive the harsh. Shit, dude. I am stuck. I am actually stuck. I'm stuck, guys. I am actually stuck. I can't move. I... I don't know what's going on today, but there's a lot of, of trouble with my... Um, with my place playthrough today, especially okay, we're we're not we're unstuck now, thank God. Good Lord. Shit, they move fast. Oh, what the hell? Okay, there's two of them there. Let's go. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, 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 run, 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 run. What the fuck is this? Ah, oh, dude. What were those? Rachni. Xenobiology is not my field. Maybe someone in the labs knows. Oh my god. I don't know the difference between when when our um hellbar is green and when it's 
Because now I put it I put it red because I healed us. I don't know if that if that is a good thing. Oh my god. They were supposed to be extinct, dude. What are they doing here? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? I am so sorry. Medigel deployed. Did I did I kill you by mistake by throwing my grenade? Is that what just happened? My team is not with me. Okay, we don't need maybe. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, memory core one damage. Transfer module stack to core two or three to reactivate. Press X to exit. I don't know what, what, what the, how the fuck do I know? What do you mean? What is this? Huh? I'm Huh? 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 How the fuck do I know?
Okay, all model stacks have to be transferred to another one, is what I'm understanding. I don't get it. I, I don't understand. How do you do this? What the hell? There is no explanation at all. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do, guys. I I don't know. Oh my god. I think I got I understood at the end. I I, I got it at the end. It oh my god. Like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? Crap. <laughs> How do I shut this thing up? <gasps> this system is monitored to respond to the name <gasps> Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard. I work for the Citadel Special oh Tactics my God, and Reconnaissance. That's so good. One moment, please. <laughs> Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to binary helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. Of course she did. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shutdown in accordance with emergency containment procedures. 
Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you've unleashed to sleep. Nice. What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the helium-3 fuel line must be I really had trouble with the this core thing. The controls on Holy the shit. Assembly proper. But I got it in the end. I understood. But damn, I haven't done a such like that kind of puzzle in such a long time. What are the landlines and why are they disabled? The landlines connect my mainframes here at Central Station to the various sub-facilities of Peak 15. This allows the crew to remotely access my databases from the comfort and security of their labs. When emergency protocols were implemented within the hot labs, the cabling was automatically ejected. How do I reconnect the landlines? The landlines are designed for easy reconnection. That's nice. The router for oh. the landlines <laughs> is on the roof of operations. Okay. Simply activate the controls and the hardware will reconnect and reboot automatically. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. The creatures we've encountered here, did they come from the labs? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. I'm a Spectre. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. Tell me what occurred immediately before you shut down. Stage 1 alert issued at Hot Labs. Contaminants released from Laboratory Pod Gamma. Emergency protocols implemented. Stage 2 alert issued at Hot Labs. Isolation 2 breached. Tram shut down. Landline to Hot Labs disconnected. Stage 3 alert issued locally. Contaminants in tram tunnels. Oh. Station shut down and evacuation initiated. Code Omega sent. Why were you taken offline? In the event, Peak 15 must be sterilized for security purposes. My program and data are purged. They kill you if something goes wrong? My systems are permanently disabled. To be killed, I would need to be alive. I am merely a database program. I need instructions on how to repair the station. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment yeah, I got procedures. That. Mm -hmm. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? That's, That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Dude, that was so hard. User what the alert. Fuck? Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. User alert. Landline connections are dis now exiting to the roof. User alert. I'm sorry. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Oh, a mission. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. <laughs> Was that one shot kill? Was that a one User shot alert. kill? Main reactor shut down in accordance Maybe I was hurt with emergency already. containment procedures. Manual Holy restart fuck. required. Holy fuck. What alert. the fuck? Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams You know what? I don't really like my um 
that assault rifle, actually. I think I preferred my Avenger. Right? Try it out. Shut down in accordance yeah, it's, with emergency it's containment pretty much, procedures. Manual restart It's pretty required. much um, one shot, one one shot kill. Cause my my health was down a little, but not that much. User alert. Main reactor shut okay. down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Now exiting to the roof. I don't know if my equipment is. Yeah. I'm not sure, like, if I should use a shotgun or... Hmm... This at first, for sure. Oh lord. Already. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Reactor shut down in accordance with emergency run, containment run, run, run. procedures. Manual restart required. Oh lord, 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 lord! <laughs> Passenger trams are offline. Dad, we almost had it. Holy shit, that's hard. User alert. Main reactor My shut teammates down die in so accordance quick. with emergency containment no, procedures. Matt. Fuck! We can do this. Let's go. Yeah, that's fine. For now.
user alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Yo, go, 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 Oh my god! User alert. Landline oh. connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. I don't know how I survived. I think because my teammates were still alive, so I had a shield because of them. Or at least they did before we passed away. I don't know, but like... Connections restored. Processing new data. User there is alert. no like evade, right? So it's kind of hard. Uh... Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. What's the status of Rift Station? Rift Station has been locked down by the staff. There are presently no contaminants within the facility. Give me a status report on the hot labs. I am That's sorry. Tough. The network connections to the labs have been the damaged. The are no Data joke. Is limited. Give me an overview of the facility. The hot labs isolate dangerous biological or cybernetic contaminants during development. The complex is built within a glacier. In the event of an accident, it can be irradiated and sunk into the ice. You have no idea what's going on inside. I'm afraid not. My last log entry is shortly after the stage 2 containment alert was sounded. There's a bunch of Ragmai in there. <laughs> Dude. I mean, I... That's it. That's all I need right now. Yeah. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Oh my god. Why you gotta be so stressful? <laughs> Alright, fam. You following, fam? Come on. My god. My all fam squad. I don't want another glitch User alert. without you Main guys. reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. I know. Manual restart required. I know, I got it. And then... Okay, so green is when we're poisoned, is what I get from this. I see. So we can go this way. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Oh lord, of course it is. Uh Okay. I don't know. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh. 
Oh shit. Maybe. Die, dude. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Emergency containment that procedures. Was amazing. Manual restart required. Okay. Why so stressed? <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh my god. She's not good. Where where is she? Oh, you're here. Catching you up. Oh. Okay. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. So I think we're good. Oh, okay. I see the um, exclamation mark. This place is so spooky. Like, what do you mean? So spooky. I uh, don't, don't like it. I mean, I like it, but I don't like it, you know. Online. Connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? What's this about loose contaminants? Dangerous biological agents are present in the tramway decontamination oh, Lord. chamber. I need to stop playing. The tram station has been sealed in the interest of crew safety. Activation of the fail-safe plasma jets is recommended prior to access. How do I activate the fail-safe system? Controls for the fail-safe systems are located in the security checkpoint outside decontamination. Okay. User alert. The fail-safe system is currently inoperable. Oh my god. What would it take to get the decon fail-safes operating again? There is a hardware fault in the control system. This can be repaired oh. on site using a standard Omni tool. Unlock the decontamination chamber. User alert. Contaminants are present within the decontamination Wait, chambers. Wait, no. Passage is not recommended. How do I get rid of the contaminants? The chamber is equipped with a fail-safe yeah. system which vents. Unfortunately, the fail-safe system is disabled at this time. What's the problem? There is a hardware yeah. fault in the control system. This can be repaired on Tell site. me what happened here. 
I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Okay, so I should. That's all I need right Very now. Well, I should. You out. Where is that? I I can do that. We don't have to um open it without doing the fail safe first. We can go the uh, easy. The easy route and uh, try to use the failsafe first, uh, right? Because this area hard, eh? Maybe I shouldn't put veteran. I'm struggling. Pretty sure there will be enemies. Okay. It takes forever. It takes forever to to explode. It's true. So we can go this way now. All right. Now entering decontamination and transit hub. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. Okay, so how do I... Fail safe? They are locked in. I could bypass the door. <gasps> you can? Repair plasma purge. Yeah, for sure. Control group loose in the... They're in... Online, connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? No, you can't. You, That's all I need right now. Very can't, well, you Commander. Can't help me Logging you out. That was long. Should I talk to Mira again? Online, connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Okay. No, that's it. That's all I need right Very now. Very well, Commander. Long is you out. I almost died, dude. That was crazy. <laughs> They just appear in your face and one shot you. How is that fair? Okay, can we use the tramway now? Are we good? Good lord. We good girls? I died a couple of times, but um we good. <laughs> you ready to see your mama here? <laughs> now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. Uh-huh. That's crazy. Look at that. The the ice. So cool. Two hot labs. We can't go now, but we can't go to We can't go here. Okay. 
Can we talk? Stand down. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. Can those things work at trains controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. <laughs> Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. My name's Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. At first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah? Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I'm not gonna let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs? If she hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from the outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick stable. When something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Uh, listen, I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. Understand? Hmm. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. A Volus? Okay. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. They made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. Stems? I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. Tell me about Rift Station. Like in Jedi, I can't talk uh, about Fallen Order and Survivor. You need to know. Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. I was just impressed with your operation. Being able to weather a week of assaults is no mean feat. Only the best get assigned to high security facilities like this. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. Okay. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Wait, 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 wait. Wait. That's it? Thanks for the help. Oh, goodness. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Maybe it's like a distraction or something? What the fuck, dude? I need to stop playing, so I don't know when's the best moment. Because I feel like we still have a lot to do here on this planet. I can go to the hot labs now, right? Yeah. I want to see uh, Matriarch Benezia. I want her to see Liera. I don't know if it makes a difference bringing her. Hello. Are you here to secure the situation? <laughs> How are you holding up? <laughs> you must listen to me. Mean external. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? Wait, is there an Asari matriarch here? Asari? I have not seen one. She is safe then, at Rift Station. Uh, this is not important. You must be listening. 
binary helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Ragnai ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. Ragnai are in extent. Clearly they are and we've been fighting them. A thousand year old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. We need the Krogans. Binary Helix plan to clone Ragnai. Mass produce them. Create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Ragnai. It is a queen. After she lays of eggs, course. they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. Oh my god, history repeating itself. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. We can save them? We really? Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. They're not it is peaceful. A sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <laughs> I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates burst of neutron radiation, kills everything within the oh station. Oh lord. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once the purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Oh boy. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. Um so they are so maybe um matriarch Benenzia maybe she wanted she wants to use the Rachni as an army for her in Saren connecting something I have like full that access to the facility and I'm at your disposal I need information on the neutron purge the neutron purge is a failsafe system installed within the isolation I'm sorry. area in the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry, the sensor network She's is too so damaged useless. to provide an accurate count. She is totally useless. <sighs> are there any survivors in here? Yaroslav Tartakovsky, Director of Operations, is on the Operations Deck. There are no other living crew members within the lab structure. Is there an Asari here? There is an Asari I cannot identify standing next to- <laughs> How you tolerate literal-minded VIs is beyond me. <laughs> there are no others visible to my remaining internal senses. Huh? What's the status of the facility? Containment breach in laboratory pod Gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. We're moving I'm on. not ready. Logging I'm... you out, Commander. I'm not ready now. Wait. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will get nearer the start. Oh well. Shit. Wow. Okay, we got the purge gods. We got them anyway. 
Maybe it would have survived if... Oh, I didn't have the codes. Right, I needed the codes. Online. How can I help you? Activate the neutron purge. Is that a good idea? I'm sorry, but I can't do that I without code. proper code authorization. Code input 8750200079. Code Omega local Okay, now we need to run though. Verify. Code Omega Should I have like talked to the others seconds. before? Uh huh. Just run. We don't care. We really don't. We really don't care. We care. Okay, we care. We care greatly. We care greatly about that. Oh my god, dude. How am I gonna... Okay. Calm down. I'll do it. I'll be fine. I... I don't know if that really works. Oh my goodness gracious. Goodness. We don't have that much time, dude! Okay, 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 go! 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 Hey, shawty! <laughs> it's your birthday! <laughs> oh, that's it? Okay, it was just the station. I thought it was the whole thing. I was like, ew. You know? Oh my god. I need to stop playing. There's nobody here? God. I'm sorry about this, Shepard. We've got orders from Venezia. Open fire! What? Do you mean? What? How dare? How dare?
fucking dare, dude. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I did not expect that at all. Dude, I should have come here before. But I went to the hot labs like instantly. Okay, let me just... let me... wait. Shit, dude. I should have come here before, no? Fuck. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. Think you could run that equipment for us? Certainly, Commander. One moment, please. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. <laughs> get away. Get away. Okay, we're, get we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Ah oh, shit, I'm stuck. I'm fucking stuck, dude. <laughs> oh! It's so annoying. Why is it glitching today? Are you kidding? That I'm restarting there. Guys, guys, you see that's not my fault though. Oh, that sucks, dude. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. Think you could run that equipment for Certainly, us? Certainly, Commander. One moment, please. This system is online and ready to provide. I, I guess. Services. I guess that's it. Think you could run that equipment, Commander. I, I, I'm not sure. Okay, let's just, let's just continue. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, the glitch was my fault, like earlier, for for sure. But Jesus Christ, it flies. Yeah, we're gonna use, um... Did that work? the team, eh? The hell? Alright, gang. Yeah, Tally, you tell him! <laughs> tell us, I guess. Please save. Because I don't want to do that again. Maybe I can save. Just making sure. <sighs> okay. Okay. So, 
what where should I go? <laughs> Sorry. There's an enemy here. Okay, uh, maybe I should go the other way first. Let me see maybe the map. <laughs> Why do I have that? I am not sure. Wait. I haven't been here. Oh, that's uh, Benezia. Okay, well, let's go talk to her, I guess. You Lord. do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To I mean, your 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 daughter is here. Turn it toward happiness. Oh, that's or the despair. queen. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. Right, that's what I thought. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who Bless. you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told her about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict. Oh my god. Oh my god, what? What? Um, against synthetics, yes, yes, that's that's what I wanted to know. Okay, where are the fuck are they? Oh, there you are. Tired, eh, girl? Oh yeah, you're getting tired, eh, girl? I can see that. Uh, 
I can't use anything right now. Use warp? Does that work? Filled with his light, everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You. You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Wait, Why are you what? Able to break free of his control now. I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. How can he compel you? He's not even here. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size and its power Yeah, the alien-looking uh, ship. Sovereign's not like other ships. Yeah. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. Uh -huh. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. That's Instead, why she was a um... willing tool, eager to serve. Completely he unfazed when he went berserk on Earth. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? Four thousand years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. Hmm. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Can we trust no, her? No, coordinates is not enough. I guess we can. Do you know where he planned to go from there? 
Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Oh my god. Die. No, I don't want to kill her. No, I don't want to kill her. I don't want to kill her. I don't want to kill her. Oh my god. I'm stuck. Okay. But I don't want to kill her though. I don't want to kill her though. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> if I hadn't brought Liana, she wouldn't have said all that, eh? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Did that work or... Oh, what the fuck? Well, that doesn't happen. Holy mother. I cannot go on. Okay. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Sorry, on. ally. We've got Metagel. Maybe we can No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely yeah, myself. Clearly. I never will be again. Really? You can't come back from that? Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> oh my god. That's dark. No pun intended. Like, holy. No light. They always said there would be light when you die. Oh my god, dude. I'm shocked. Commando. Shepherd. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange, flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. You are not in harmony with those who hoped to control us. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? 
Look, those tanks? Acid. Strong enough to kill anything, no matter its biology. They wouldn't have installed that if they weren't afraid of the consequences of her getting loose. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. You could have calmed them if I hadn't set off the purge? No. Our minds are not as yours. We can only learn to sing in harmony. Without a mother, children are lost to silence. You should not sing of them in gray and violet. We would have still them ourselves. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg. Hearing Mother cry in our dreams, a tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. If I let you live, I love would you attack speaks. other races again? Yeah! No. We, I, do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Have a, have a choice here. I can make this race go instinct again. How it started is we... Not we humans necessarily, but like we as a... An alien to them, I guess. We discovered them through mass relay, right? And then... They invaded other spaces and then we created the... the like we breed the Krogans to be able... the Turians, right? It was the Turian? No, it was the Salarian? That bred the Krogans? I don't remember. Anyway, the Krogans were bred to fight them back and it worked. And then the Krogans were like over multiplying so the Turians created like a, a gene thing that makes them unable to reproduce. Anyway, or almost unable. But Technically, it's a race that I I thought they were a bit dumb. Like they kind of explain, oh, like the we don't know, but they are not. Like she is speaking to us. She has a mind of her own, and she can calm. And they said when the mother is not with her children, they become crazy. But if you if if she's with them, then they she can do whatever with them basically she can calm them and everything so i'm like i don't think i should kill it like it's not my call to instinct a race an entire race like that's not my call to make it all um and also i don't want to just i don't want to be like oh i won't kill you but i'm letting you there i don't want to do that because other people will come in and use her like benizia wanted to do so I kind of want to free her just to... You have your chance in the world now. We were able to fight them before. We can do it again if it turns bad. Like a lot of people could die, I, I get it. But I think, I think, I think freeing her is... She is kind of touching, honestly. It's very moving, like how she speaks and it's very poetic and everything. And I know that that's probably making me biased, but at the same time, they, they, they went too far. It's true what Liara is saying. They went too far into making them extinct in a war. And now we have a chance to rectify that. And they, they have a chance to prove that they can be peaceful 
and maybe someday they can be part of the cancer like who the fuck knows right i don't think that can happen but we never know so yeah i'll free you i won't destroy your entire race you'll go free you will give us the chance to compose anew yeah we will remember we will sing of your forgiveness but to our if you children. don't though dude i'm coming for you like <laughs> i'ma kill you personally <laughs> you know like that's so sad and i don't want another person to use this as a weapon it's better for them it's better to free them than to have someone else try to use her as a weapon is my thinking Paragon plus 24. Holy shit. But I don't know if it's gonna bite me in the ass later. I don't think... I think that was the right call. I really do think that was the right call to make, but... It's hard to say with this game. You never know. You never know if what you're doing is actually the right thing or not. Like... And Mother Venezia is dead, dude. Awful. I need to stop playing. I think I'm gonna take the... I'm gonna go back to the central and then we're gonna end it here because there, there might be a lot of dialogue and stuff after this main mission and everything, so... I just wanna make sure that, um... I don't... Because I've been playing for three hours. <laughs> I need to go eat. Um, oh, lord. Okay. What's our next move? Never mind. <laughs> Not so fast. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. She's annoying. Sorry, commander. We're done here. Crew dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? Oh, Lord. And they won't be at queen. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. They're always... They're always regretting making me... <laughs> as <my turn. laughs> uh, Maybe if I was more renegade... I don't know. Maybe it, it, it would... Uh... I'm, I'm gonna stop here. Usually I would level up and everything, but I really need to to go. I just want to see um, my paragon. Look at that. That's crazy compared to my renegade. I'm gonna end it here. That was... <sighs> it was quite hard again. Um, the game is really stepping up. I don't know if it was harder than last time, but it, w it was. We died a lot to the Rachni, like they one shot you almost when they're close to you. That's crazy. Um, but that was super fun. I was shocked. The plot thickens, y'all. I was so shocked about everything we learned. Um, Saren has some kind of power over minds with his ship. And his ship is not a get construction, it's like something else, and it's super advanced. Okay. Um, like, I am. <laughs> like, what the hell? And then Benizia is dead. Like, that. I, I think she's dead. That's what I understood anyway. So for Liara, I need to talk to Liara after to see if she she's grieving or something. Like it must be quite the shock, you know. And it makes sense because Liara said I don't recognize her. You know, before we went, when we rescued her, we were like, "Why is your mother being like this? Why is she working with Saren?" And she was like, "I don't get it. 
I don't know, she she's not supposed to be like that. She's never been like that before. And now it makes sense because she was controlled. She was mind controlled, yo. Is it because of the beacon? No, she said it was the ship. It's it's something with the ship that that is like I don't know, like has an aura or <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. And where did he find it? Or did the ship find him? Like I don't I don't know. I don't That's so weird. That's so fucking strange. But Saren has always been ruthless from what we heard, so... I have so many questions, but I'm gonna end it here. It was super interesting. I'm so sorry for the super long episode. Again, I cannot stop playing this game. It is so hard to put down. I am very sorry. I hope you guys still enjoyed, even though it is very long. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!